Hello everyone. How are you all? I hope you all are safe at your places. The today's topic is continued fraction. Now it is not uh, like that we can say that it is from class 7. In so many competition exams you will find uh, continued fraction sort of questions. Okay, so as personally as a maths teacher, I would recommend that this topic is to be taken by everyone. Okay, this is a key concept and uh, again it will boost your range of solutions. First of all, continued fractions mean a fraction beneath the fraction. That means in a fraction there will, you will find a, again a fraction. For example, here you can see 2 plus 1 upon 2. And in the division, in the denominator, we again get a fraction. So in such a case, we will look at the last fraction. For example, here we will simplify this 3 plus 1 upon 4. Now since 3 has no denominator, so we will put it as 3 upon 1. So first we will simplify this. We will take it as, we will take the LCM. So we will write again 2 plus 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon now 1 or 4 LCM of 1 or 4 is 4 4 upon 1 that is 4 3 is 12 plus 1 so the solution comes out to be 2 plus 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 13 upon 4 now as you can see 1 is itself in a division and it has a fraction in its denominator so this 13 upon 4 will be reciprocated and it will be written as 2 plus 1 upon 2 plus 1 into 4 upon 13. 13 upon 4 will be reciprocated. Now here it will be written as 2 plus 1 upon 2 plus. Now any number, any fraction multiplied with 1 will give you the same result 4 upon 13. <coughs> I hope it, the step would be clear. Now again we will take the LCM. The LCM of 13 and 1 will be 13. So it will go like that 1 upon 13 upon 1 that is 13, 13 to 26 plus 13 upon 13 that is 1 4 to 4. So we uh, get a term 2 plus 1 upon 30 upon 30. So I'll use the bracket. So I'm taking the term from here 2 plus 1 upon 30 upon 30. Again, this 30 upon 30 is itself in a division, so it will be transposed and it goes in the. You can write something like this. See, 30 upon 30 is in division with 1. So you can represent it this way. Now, using the word mass, 1 can be written as 1 upon 1. Now, this division sign has been replaced with multiplication, and this divisor fraction will be reciprocated. So you will get like this. Since any number multiplied with 1 give you the same result, so we are getting 2 plus 13 upon 30. Again, we have 1. We, when we don't have anything in the division, we can put 1. You know, any integer can be made a rational number by putting 1 in the denominator. Now, again, we will take the LCM of 30 and 1, that will be 30. 30 upon 1, that is 30, 30 to 0. 60, 30 upon 30, that is 1, 1 into 13 is 30. So the answer is 73 upon 30 or 2, 13 upon 30. You can convert it into mixed fraction. Okay. So I hope students, this will benefit you in your any sort of exam like academic exam, your competition exam. Okay. With this, all the best. Stay home, stay safe. All the best.